Hello and welcome everybody to Norman Camera. This is the first episode of Bag Hunt where I take a photographer's everyday carry or at least what I think is a photographer's everyday carry and I try to fit it into a bag. With this series, I don't wanna focus on a standard camera bag like this one. I want to find new and interesting camera bags that might have a feature that you've been looking for or just have something interesting about it that makes it unique compared to the competition. Camera bags like this are likely to get stolen and that's another reason why I'm looking at other bags because if you see this bag just sitting on a park bench somewhere, you can infer that there's most likely or most definitely going to be a camera in there and that's more likely to get stolen because of that. So instead of looking at camera bags like this, we're gonna be looking at camera backpacks. Something that's a little bit more versatile, you can carry more than just your camera, you can carry all the gear that you'll possibly need, and it'll all pack up into one bag, so then it's easy to take from point A to point B. This is actually the first bag that I'm gonna be showing. This bag is Manfrotto's Street Backpack. Basically why I like this backpack right off the bat is its colors. It's fun, it's got this camo inside, it's got a lot of pockets that you can stuff things in. It has a pocket where you can pretty much stuff anything that you want in there. Uh, you could stuff a sweatshirt in there, maybe an extra pair of clothes if you're going on a small trip. Let's just say that you want to pack in a microphone, maybe some extra cords, ports in there. One thing I don't like about this backpack already is it's designed to fit a 13 inch computer. So this guy will not fit in there. But if you have a 13 inch MacBook, it will. I just don't have one of those, so I'll just set this over to the side. I brought a telephoto with me that's probably not gonna fit in this backpack because it's going to be the test telephoto. That backpack will be able to hold a telephoto lens in it. This one probably won't be able to do that, so I'm just gonna set that to the side as well. But it should be able to hold the rest of these items in there perfectly fine. So I'm just going to start packing away the bag and I'll show you where I put everything. This inside pocket is interesting to me because for the most part, it's just the spot where things can just loosely hang out. And there's not a lot of places that you can put things in this backpack. So this is what I meant by like the fun inside. Uh, you're not gonna see a lot of other backpacks, camera bags adopt something like this where it's more stylish. This is more designed towards smaller cameras, but I'm showing the, you that you can fit one of the larger ones in there. This is the EOS R, it's a pretty large camera even though it's a mirrorless camera. My main worry about this is that it's a little top heavy and this could tip over pretty easily if you have very heavy gear on the top of it. This whole top part comes out and the bag just becomes a big old bag so then you can fit a lot of stuff. That's what I like about the Manfrotto bags, is that they're module like this, and you can change them or adapt them to how you're gonna use them. So EOS R slips in there. A 50 millimeter lens for the EOS R also slips in there. So if you have larger lenses and cameras, because these are pretty big lenses, you're gonna fit like this. Um, if you have any smaller camera than the EOS R, which a lot of cameras are smaller, then it's gonna fit in there better. And you'll be able to fit maybe two other lenses along with the body. <laughs> then we're gonna get to the dumping pocket, I wanna say, where everything's gonna be just put in there. Um, kind of free to roam. Headphones, microphone pretty loose in there. Through the back there's a zipper pocket which let's say that you have your wallet in there or wallet on the side or something. You can just reach in there, grab out your hard drive, that charging brick for my laptop, boom. And then you don't have to open up the entire backpack but you do need to kind of find it or just have it lined up right on the side here. So then when you go to grab it it's there. These side pockets kind of extend out so then you can hold a, a water bottle. You have this here so then you can put a tripod on the side of your camera bag so while you're walking around you'll be able to do that. 
I'm noticing that this camera bag has a lot of buckles, a lot of old fashioned buckles, so then again, stylistic. Like that. I do like having a chest strap, so I might like this. So basically, it's gonna be how the backpack looks on your back. Um, you do have the buckles. Got that that you can do, make it more secure while you're riding a bike um, or hiking, even out the weight. It's a good quality backpack. It has some really nice textures on it, including like a microfiber feeling. So this is also water repellent and it's designed around going on trips. So let's say that you go on an airplane a lot. This is designed to be in the cabin. I want to do some sort of rating system. So I'm gonna rate this backpack 3.5 out of five. Mostly because it's a high quality backpack. But for these, this average gear, not including the laptop, because if you have a 13 inch, it'll fit fine in here. If you have an iPad, it's gonna fit fine in here. But it doesn't fit the MacBook Pro 15 inch and it doesn't fit a telephoto lens, which is just a test. But if it would be able to fit a telephoto lens in there somehow, I would rate it a higher rating because of that. This is probably the biggest downside to the backpack for me. I like having a lot of slots to set my stuff in so that it's safe and secure and it's not gonna be jumping around in the backpack as much. But for a lot of people, they just kind of toss their stuff in and they get going and that's kind of what this is for. Got this top pocket with this pocket where you can grab all your cords or you can just put your SD cards in there. I always have to carry this adapter with me and I think a lot of photographers and creatives like using MacBooks, so that's why I included that into this standard photographer video creator kit. This backpack does have a lot of quality and it does have enough room to carry some of the stuff that I have here, but it did not have everything that I needed to be able to carry everything that I wanted to. So thank you for watching this video. I hope I can see you in the next one. If you haven't joined Norman Camera's family yet, it's as easy as subscribing. Thank you and have a good day.